Zer's back, and we're going to find out what he has this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Zer is located on the EDZ by the Winding Cove. Whoops. By the Winding Cove, and we are going to mark him and see what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Merciless, which is an exotic fusion rifle. And trying to perk on this is Conserve Momentum, which non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. Then we have Chambered Compensator, Extended Mag, and Petus, which reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short time. And then we have Fitted Stock. Also... Every exotic weapon comes with a plus 5 weapon attack mod. So yeah. Now if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE. And I probably would have rated a tier 2 in PvP. If you guys don't know my tier scale, I will put it in the description below. That way you guys can check that out. So yeah, definitely go ahead and grab this. Next is that we'll be going over is the Lucky Pants for the Hunter class. This has 2 mobility as well as 1 resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is Illyly Modded Holster, which precision hits load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons. And then we have Mobility Enhancement mod as well as Posterior Reinforcement mod, and this comes with a Self-Repairing mod. Now, Lucky Pants is okay. It's, it's a little bit better if you actually have hand cannons. However, so, Lucky Pants isn't really that good. And it's probably going to get a tier 3 in PvE and PvP. It's not bad, but it's just not that good. And next exotic we'll be going over is the ACD forward slash zero feedback fence for the Titan. And this has a full resilience build. Trying to perk on this is Fury Conductors, which... Melee kills build up explosive energy within the ACD-0 feedback fence. Uh, being struck by a melee attack unleashes this energy in a devastating explosion. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod as well as Restorative mod, and this also comes with an Acceleration mod. Now, these aren't bad, but they aren't extremely, oh my god, I have to have them right now either. So unless you know you're going to go up against those, you know... Shotgun meleeers or SMG meleeers, then this doesn't really help you a lot. So, with that said, I am probably going to give this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP and probably just a tier 2 in PvE because you're more, li more likely sorry, to get meleeed in PvE by some ads than you would like an enemy in PvP if they know that you have this on. Next is that we'll be going over is the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock. This gives you one mobility and resilience and two recovery. The trend perk on this is Fusion Harness, which Fusion Grenades have an additional charge and regenerate faster. Fusion Grenade kills grant Rift Energy. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as a Solar Impact Mod. Now, this exotic was great in Destiny 1, not so good in Destiny 2, due to the fact that the grenades have been pretty much diminished. And the only types of grenades that are good in Destiny 2 are the ones that actually like linger in the area. There are better exotics out here instead of the Starfire Protocol. I personally would rather use the Ophidian Aspect over any exotic for the Warlock, and that's just me. So, given the fact that Fusion Grenades aren't really that going crazy and i don't know how i just got that vanguard tactical token of 10 because i wasn't doing anything and i'm not in a group but okay i'll take it i'm probably gonna have to rate this a tier 3 in pve as well as pvp They're really not that good I'm sorry anyways for the consumables we have your awesome three of coins which it gives you a chance to get an exotic for four hours and last but not least we have the faded engram for our wonderful 
wonderful Titan. Do we have the ACD? Yeah, we do. So, let's see what we get this week in our wonderful Faded Engram. And we get the Dune Marchers. Do I already have those? Oh, I guess I didn't. Huh. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.